Welcome to Islamic Studies for Children. In our fourth lecture, we are going to talk about Iman, faith, and six things in which, as a Muslim, we have to believe in. So let's get started. Assalamu alaikum, my friends. How are you doing today? Did you have a good day in school? Assalamu alaikum, Abdullah. Assalamu alaikum, guys. Today is our fourth lecture. Congratulations. Welcome back. Today, as I told you last time, we are going to talk about the faith. And the six things we have to believe in as a Muslims. Could you, Abdullah, repeat for our friends which are these six things you are talking about? Yes, of course. There are six things we as a Muslim should believe in without any doubts. We have to believe in Allah, in His angels in his books, his messengers, and in the day of judgment and divine destiny. About Allah we have already talked in the last three lectures and we have learned why we should believe in Allah and obey his orders. Yes, you are absolutely right, Umar. Today we are going to learn about Allah's messengers. That's interesting. Allah used to tell people which things to do and which not through his prophets and messengers. He was choosing a person who will be receiving these messages and explaining this to the people. These persons become the messengers of Allah. But Allah did not speak to them directly. He was sending messages through angel Jibril. So if I understand correctly, angels and messengers of Allah are in some way connected. Yes, in some way. Allah sent prophets and messengers to different people at different times. They spoke to people in Allah's name and guided them. The first prophet was Adam, peace be upon him, and the last prophet was Prophet Muhammad, peace and Allah's blessings be upon him. Can I ask you something? After mentioning Prophet Adam's name, he said, peace be upon him. And after Prophet Muhammad's name, he said, Peace and Allah's blessings be upon him. Why did you say that? Because we have to show the special respect to them. Whenever we are reading, listening, or saying our last Prophet's name, we always in a voice and in or in heart said peace and Allah's blessing be upon him and in Arabic we are saying sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yeah that was really interesting did you know guys but how many prophets were sent to teach people the Quran mentions 25 but there are many many more some most famous of them is Noah, who built the big ship when flood was coming, the Ibrahim, the Yusuf, who was translating the dreams, and Musa, and Isa, which we are more knowing with the name of Jesus, and many others. Thank you, Abdullah. Now we know who was the messengers of Allah. And our faith is not complete if we don't believe in them and respect them because they were chosen by Allah to guide us. Yes, well done. Next time, 
we will be studying about the angels. That's uh, actually all for today, guys. Assalamu alaikum. So take care and see you all next time. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you for watching, and I really hope, inshallah, my video will be beneficial and helpful for our kids. My dear brothers and sisters, your comments and suggestions are very welcome and press like button if you want to show your support. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel that you don't miss next soon coming lectures. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh.